areas also need to be ministers of agriculture to make a, a contribution to the agricultural sector of this country. <laughs> and I will do my best to ensure that the agriculture program of this administration works. That is where we go. So let us remove this foolishness, this divide and rule principle that the opposition feel that is taking us. So, listen. The business, you, we, what we are seeing, and the need to promote business activity then is the work of the center. Where I have been thinking in community fairs. You, I had a community fair of Bethany. And where, let me tell you the concept. The concept of the community fair, and you see, we have these fairs that we don't understand the role that it plays. When I grew up with the majority, my mother is in the backyard. And she used to throw letters in the front. And the fact that though, that used to help us get changed in the school, you know. I mean, you understand the principle, but who did she sell it to? She used to go around the world, sell it by Miss Joe, sell this thing to the head, here. No, no, and it was a community thing we bought from each other. It's the same principle here. When we have our community spirit, is that one, we tell people who are doing things in our community, come out, show what you can do. We have to go and support them. That's what we need. We are our brother keeper. Yeah. 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 We did that, Mr. Michael, we are central. Not only that, I want to say this to you that the innovation in introduced by Minister Essay in terms of the provision of grants for our businesses to strengthen the capital base. Yeah. That is another area that businesses in ancient micro residential have been able to benefit from. <laughs> and not only that, I am in the process of finalizing arrangements for the use of adult education programs to help the constituents. It will soon be done at North Seagate School. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's no more, no more best issues than housing and work. But you know what? We need to be very careful that we don't box ourselves in on the issue of housing. And this is not only response to the government, because people who attend, I have conversations with constituents every day that come to me and say, if I touch my son or daughter or father or mother. But I want to say this to you. As Barbadians, we must have a holistic approach to the problem of housing. And I know this word sounds big, it sounds nice, and I know for the ordinary people who don't about the next day, that guy that, that, that answered his needs. But what I'm saying to you is that there's a lot of consideration by the amount of housing that we need to pay attention to. And there's not only in terms of resource challenge, but an environmental challenge that we as representatives of the people must educate our people that they have to understand and do not allow the what they would call the power politics. Power politics, power of the other side. To make you feel that this government is not carefully and studiously trying to work on housing in a way that does not jeopardize the long-term economic, environmental, and social interests of this country. Because if we follow them, soon from now, <laughs> no, we have to live. But it's how. Because we have to remember something. Slavery. Yes. But it's done because of the fact that it was economically desirable for it to finish in the form in which it was then. It is not inconceivable. And history is a very good lesson to man. History should be our lesson in this regard. That whatever comes. Whatever goes around comes around. 
this understanding. And I want to show my constituents that I have been making representations on the matter of housing with them. As a matter of fact, I also recognize too, and if you remember, when on my, the first speech that I made in the Michael Central, I spoke to the necessity of maintaining green house, green acreage to this community. Why? Can you imagine the Michael Resentral so built up with house and concrete that your children can't find a way to walk? Can't find a way to walk? What kind of a society are we better men on the other hand? We have the Millennium House in which the rich up there with their lovely lawns, whatever, jacuzzis or whatever, but lovely lawns and walkways, and then you have the golf courses that only certain people can go. I have been about it. And the time I'm saying to you, it's okay for them to have that. But now we have an opportunity for in this country where we can give people who live in working class neighborhoods an opportunity to experience that kind of life in the Gungo race. We want to take it away from them if one fell through. Just because of the fact that few people stand to make a few big bucks out of the process. Understand yourself that there are people in this country in which they recognize at the end of the day they can come here. Give the fans a thing and fly away. You are left. We are left. No, I ain't going away. I ain't going to play this. We are left to manage whatever is left back over there until they come up with the next great get rich quick scheme.